Am I the A for paying for my son's college tuition in full? He lives with my baby mama, but not his half-brother, her other son with another man. I need some outside perspective on a family issue that's been bothering me lately. So here's the situation. Three years ago, I had an incredible stroke of luck and won a significant amount of money through gambling. Yes, it was a life-changing amount. Since then, I've been careful with my finances, making sure the money lasts and is used wisely. My son Jake, who is 18, lives with his mom, my ex, and her other son, Ethan, from a different relationship. Jake is a bright kid with big dreams, and I've always wanted to support him in any way I can. With the money I won, I decided to pay for Jake's college tuition in full. This means he can go to the college of his choice without worrying about student loans or working multiple jobs to make ends meet. Now, here's where things get tricky. My ex approached me and asked if I could contribute to Ethan's college fund. Ethan is 17 and also planning to go to college soon. While I understand her position and genuinely like Ethan, I don't feel the same level of responsibility toward him as I do for Jake. He's not my biological son, and I've never had a parental role in his life beyond being cordial and supportive in a general sense. My ex argues that since Jake and Ethan are brothers and live under the same roof, it's unfair and creates tension between them if only Jake gets his college paid for. She believes it sends a message that I value Jake more and that it's creating a rift in their relationship. However, I feel like my primary obligation is to my biological son, Jake, and my financial support would reflect that. I did suggest to my ex that maybe Ethan's biological father could contribute more, but she said he's not in a financial position to help much. I feel for Ethan, and I don't want him to feel left out or less important, but I also think it's not entirely my responsibility to provide for him. So, am I the A for deciding to fully fund my son's college tuition, but not as half-brothers? Am I being unfair or selfish here? I could use some unbiased opinions on this. Thanks. Now for the comments. Not the A at all. It's outrageous that she accused you of caring about Jake more. Of course you care about your son more than a casual acquaintance. Do talk to your son to see how he's feeling, though. Protect him if they are trying to gang up on him, guilt, or punish him as a tactic to strong-arm you. She's projecting her fears of what her other son may think in order to manipulate you into doing what she wants. Typical emotional control. You should never have to justify what you do for your own child. Definitely not have it held against you by his mother. I wouldn't do anything. She's going to expect you to do everything for him you ever will do for your son. This won't end here if you go along with it. What's next? Two houses? Two cars? Ouch, man. Think of all the money you can spend on your kid going forward if you don't pay for someone else's along the way. He has a dad. He needs to pay. That's not on you to make up for what he lacks. Not the A. You have one son, she has two sons. With you paying for one of her sons, Jake, she is now free to fund only one of her two sons not both of them. You are being prudent with your winnings, as it would be easy to spend it on yourself and not pay for Jake. If it had been the other guy who won money, would he pay for both sons or even Ethan or either? Not the A. This is exactly how good-hearted people that come into large sums of money become broke. Good job sticking to your principles. Not the A. The simple reality is that you do value Jake more because he is literally your son. All of your responsibility is for him. You have no connection to Ethan, and while it sucks his mom and dad can't contribute more, 
That's not your problem or your responsibility. Ethan has to realize that life can suck that way, and things between him and Jake will sometimes be unfair. But that has nothing to do with you. You have nothing to feel bad about, and your ex needs to back off. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this story, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment.